Oh, problems for Pete Shepard. That's actually somewhat of a teammate. White flag is out. Teammate to Eric Darnell. He takes the white flag. Two miles to go for Eric Darnell. Unlike NASCAR, if the caution flag were to come out now, we would restart this race. In NASCAR rules, it would be a complete race if the caution flag were to come out right now. But Eric Darnell is just holding his breath that we stay green for another half lap. Down the back stretch he goes. Eric Darnell looking for his second ever win in the ARCA Remax Series. Three starts in 2007. His first start finished second. His second start he won. And now coming out of turn number four, Eric Darnell will see the checkered flag and win the Michigan ARCA 200. Got a great battle coming off number four. Jeremy Clements was able to get by the 47 of Philip Magilton for the fifth position, but Philip Magilton did make it on fuel. Unbelievable for Philip Magilton. Great job by Tim McCready also. His third ever asphalt race finishes in the top five. Philip Magilton, we weren't worried about fuel. It was Michael McDowell, I that's believe. Right, that's right, Michael McDowell. And Michael McDowell did make it. He comes home in eighth. Impressive day for Eric Darnell as he does the double here in Michigan. Taylor Malsom runs third right now. White flag, one left to go. Just under two and a half miles for Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Trying to make it two wins in the last three races. Scott Speed trying to close the gap. He doesn't have enough room, or does he, as they go through turn number one and down that long, long pond straightaway. Ricky Stenhouse does not want to see a caution flag because they would restart this race again. It would be a green, white, and then a checker. They throw the green and white together once they've already taken the white flag. The flagman has grabbed for the checkered flag. Ricky Stenhouse, all he has to do is keep in front of the two of Scott Speed. The final turn here at Pocono as they go into turn number three. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. finding victory lane for the first time at Kentucky. Two races ago, and now he'll see the checkered flag. Win number two for Stenhouse. Terrific job by Ricky Stenhouse, Jeff Campy, and his entire Roush Fenway team. What a difficult situation that has to be for the 20 of Justin Lofton. Racing into turn number one, a little contact made. He gets turned around trying to save it and goes off the racetrack. It's Ricky Stenhouse Jr., though, that was out in front. Scott Speed will be scored second. We see... John West Townley in the 0-9 up against the wall, stopped on the racetrack. John West Townley was one of the cars that was up in the top five on that green-white checker restart. What an amazing race for Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Started this race in the fourth spot. The Olive Branch, Mississippi, 20-year-old, finds victory lane once again, this time coming at Pocono. The tricky triangle, not too tricky for Ricky Stenhouse Jr.